day everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and we're going to talk about deductive reasoning for this time so what is deductive reasoning so we're going to define deductive reasoning so this is the process of reaching a conclusion by applying general assumptions procedures or principles with deductive reasoning the conclusion is nearly necessarily true if the premises are true it is when you take two, two true statements or premises to form a conclusion. So take note most of the time that we have seen all about deductive reasoning. We, it follows syllogism or transitive property that states that A implies B, C implies A, then B is implies C. Or shall we say transitive, A is equal to B, C is equal to A, then B is equal to C. So take note of this part. We'll be, make, we'll be using this one as we are going to talk about deductive reasoning. So take note deductive reasoning is associated in a funnel. So we have here from general to specific, that is deductive reasoning. So by the examples applying their uh, reaching the conclusion by applying general assumptions, procedures, two specific examples that is what we call as deductive reasoning again so one part of deductive reasoning that i presented in a video in this channel is all about elimination grid or the logic puzzle that i had give to you last time so that's all about elimination grid that is part of deductive reasoning so let's have example Use deductive reasoning to show that the following procedure produces a number that is three times the original number. In this case, we have the principle now that the number is three times the original number. We have already the conclusion in this procedure that we could come up that the number is three times the original number. So by this procedure, let us first solve. So, Pick a number, so let us have first letter N as our number. Multiply it by 6, so that is 6N. Add it by 10 to the product, and divide it by 2 minus 5. So we have here, this will become 3N plus 5 minus 5. So therefore, the remaining is 3N. So we could say that from N, it becomes 3n so the number is three times the original number so by this procedure we could say that by this procedure we could say that n is equal the original number is three times so we have here by using deductive we have the principle already that I presented so we have to have a specific example to this one and we come up with n is equal is by this procedure becomes 3n okay so example number two use deductive reasoning to show that the following procedure always produ produces a number that is equal to the original number so the conclusions or the principles that we have is produces a number that's equal to the original number based on the procedure. So let us have pick up a number and multiply it by 6, add it by 8, divide it by the sum, divide it by 2, subtract twice the original number and subtract it by 4. So this is 3n plus 4 minus 2n minus 4 so this is cancel this bar so this is n so therefore we could say by this procedure produces a number that is equal to the original so therefore n is equal to n so that is all about deductive reasoning by this example okay so we have now in example number three so deductive reasoning in practice by syllogism a implies b 
C implies A, then B implies C. So take note, we have here the syllogism that would help you to determine whether that one is inductive or not, deductive or not. So we have here all muscles are made out of living tissue. So first, all humans have muscles, therefore all humans are made out of living tissue. So let us have first this one, we'll name this one. All muscles, A, this is our A, are made out of living tissues. This is our P, this is our premise. Next, we have all humans, all humans, let us, we have here C. When we talk about muscles, that is our A. So therefore, all humans, which is C, are made out of living tissue, which is P. So we have now the syllogism here. So A to B, C to A, and C to B. That implies. Next, all cats have keen sense of smell. So all cats, letter A, we have here A. Sense of smell, we have B. And Fluffy is a cat. We have C and the cat is A. So Fluffy has a keen sense of sense of smell. So our Fluffy is C to B. Alright. So that's all about this part. And we have here red meat has an iron in it, and beef is a red meat. Therefore, beef has an iron in it. So red meat. So A has an iron in it. B, beef is a red meat. C, and this is R, E. So there are beef, which is C, implies iron in it, B. Okay, so next. That's all about syllogism. For all numbers ending in 0 or 5, so this is our A, divisible by 5, which is B. The number 35, which is our C, ends with 5, which is our A. So it must be, so the number 8, 35, C, it means it, that is 35, divisible by so letter R, B. So again, deductive reasoning in practice by syllogism. It follows A is equal to B and C is equal to A. Then C is then B is equal to C. So that's all about deductive reasoning in practice. So let's have for next we have think of it. All musical instruments make sound sounds. Airplanes make sounds. Therefore, airplanes are musical instruments. So in this case, we have here the premises are valid. All musical instruments are make sounds, yes. Airplanes, so we have here A. And this is make sounds B. So this is our C. And this is our B. And airplanes is C. And musical instrument, which is A. So therefore, we could say that C is equal to A because it cannot be. Because they have a different entities. So musical instruments, the airplanes and musical instruments are in different entities. So therefore, in this case, this is invalid deductive reasoning. Okay, so this is invalid deductive reasoning. So all musical instruments make sound, of course, airplanes cannot be a musical instrument. So therefore, this is an invalid instrument, but the two premises are could be true because 
all musical instruments make sounds. Airplanes make sounds. Therefore, airplanes are not musical instruments. So, by, by syllogism that we have, so we could not have this as our syllogism or this could not be this could be an invalid deductive reasoning so c to a okay so try this use deductive reasoning to show the following procedure always produces the number five procedure pick up a number add four to the number and multiply the sum by three subtract seven and then decrease it decrease this difference by the triple of the original number so that's all about try this thank you so much for uh gracing this uh youtube channel and i hope everyone you learned something today and please don't forget to subscribe thank you and god bless and that's all about deductive reasoning